Hi everyone, Cheryl here, back after five days. Whew, I didn't even realize it's been five long days, but it has been. I'm back. I've been so busy trying to get stuff done. You know, things take me three, four times longer than the average Joe because of the whole lovely bipolar nonsense, but that's just the way it is. So I want to welcome, I see I got new subscribers, welcome, thank you so much for being here and wanting to remain part of my channel, I appreciate it very much, and um, to the subscribers that have been here with me, thank you so much for always coming back with me, I appreciate you all immensely. So this, this video is going to be a, you know, it's not just going to be one thing, I have an unboxing, happy mail, another happy mail to just share. Okay, my sweater's all discombobulated. And I have a little bit of weight talk to do. Not much, but I do. I think it's important. And now, of course, the minute I hit record, they have to go potty. I'll be right back. You guys, really? Come on. So first, I want to tell you is that um, Wynn and I groomed all the kids last night. We did nails, we did a brush out, and we did ears. Um, and I just do it on the living room floor, in the living room, because it's so much easier on the kids just to have it done here. You know, and then they're not outside, and they're more comfortable in their home than out on the deck. Even though the deck is all fixed up for them, still, it's more comfortable for them in the house well we got all of them done and i noticed it's getting easier and easier to groom them thank the lord because it went from three hours and two different days to about an hour and a half in one night so that's amazing molly's the worst one so it is getting very much easier and it's just go um so after we get done, the kids, I said to them, while I run back to the bathroom, grab the vacuum, plug it in, I'll vacuum good. I'm back in the bathroom and I hear him start the vacuum. I'm like, yay, he's going to start. I'll finish. I come back out through and there he sits with the vacuum on his lap. I said, now what? He said, I don't know. It was working yesterday when I vacuumed the laundry. And I said, well, I haven't touched it. So I don't know what the problem is. He rips it apart. The belt blew. We need a belt. Had to go on Amazon and order a pack of belts. Here my living room is. I did the best I could on hands and knees with their Furminator. Um, <clears throat> scraping up the hair and getting up the fingernails on that. But, oh my God, I want to cry. Just our luck, you know. So now our living room, it's not as bad as you would think. Because I had like almost a full sheets or walmart bag full of between gunner and molly because they have undercoats getting you know especially molly i can make another dog out of a german shepherd's undercoat but yeah so now i have a nicely groomed puppies but horrible looking living room floor oy vey i cannot win so that's that and then i've been cleaning out um yarn and stuff and I got a great big box that I'm sending to a special friend. You all will see what that is when it comes time. I sent Carrie Penny, my swap partner, her box. I cannot wait to see her open that. That is going to be so much excitement. I made some special things for her. She knew I was making her something, so that's no secret. And uh, I really can't wait to see her surprise when she opens that package up. But yeah. When I knew she was my swap partner, I, I had right in mind what I was going to do for her besides, of course, the yarn and things that I send her. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. I can't wait till she gets it. And I'm mad because they picked my box up on the 9th and it did nothing. I checked tracking. Or no, they picked it up yesterday, which is the 10th, which meant it should have been accepted to the post office yesterday already and been en route this morning. Well, they only accepted it today. So now it's going to be Thursday till she gets it, which it should have been tomorrow. I don't know what they do with stuff. Do they like put it in a corner and say, well, we'll deal with that later? Or, 
I want to choke them. Anyway, now I got to wait till Thursday, if she even does the video Thursday, you know, that's just the way it is, I guess. Kind of stinks. So, okay, so we talked grooming, we talked care, okay, clean out, weight loss. It's going to be brief, but I'm going to say it. Okay, you all know that I live on sugar-free pops. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I thought I was going to sneeze my brains out, but nothing happened. I didn't want to go on the thing, you know. Um, you all know that I live on my sugar-free pops. You know, because the surgeons want us to have them. They're all liquid in that, and they're important for us to get that liquid in, which if it wasn't for them and my coffee, I'd be in big trouble. And I drink hot tea too. Walmart stopped making or carrying, not making, carrying the budget saver sugar-free pops that I eat so much. I bought a chest freezer two years ago just to hold my pops because I had coupons and for every bag you bought, you made two cents. So not only were my poppies free, they were basically a money maker. I think in the end I had like 20 bucks. That's how many freeze pops I bought. I literally filled the chest freezer to the top and I had to put some in my, our other two freezers. Um, cause that's how many I go through. I can go through easily a bag, bag and a half some days. And that may be all I have besides a protein drink. Well, when they stopped making them or carrying them, I got so upset. We even tried to order them and you can't do it. I got to find where to get these because I never had a problem. So when found the popsicle brand is disgusting. That's even what they carry in the hospital. However, the reds are delicious. They're like, um, Red raspberry, I don't know what all, but they're called the reds. They are very good. And I like the tropicals as well. But I do not like the orange grape cherry popsicle brand. That, ugh, I don't like them. So we found them and I've been going to town on them. Well, there are days, like I said, I eat the entire box, which is 18. They're twin pops, but you break them in, like they're separate in the package. So it's like two, two perforated together and you pull them apart and you have one, but they're separated in packages, but they're together. So if I, when I eat them, I, Wing gives me three at a shot. So that means he's giving me six. Okay. I did the same with the budget savers. He gave me six a shot. Well, three a shot, which is them are in the same pack, the two. Nothing different that I've done since. 2014 when I had my original surgery. Okay. Walmart didn't, or down the local store didn't have the, those pops a couple times. So instead, Wayne got me fudge sickles, which he said were comparable carb wise. Well, Shelly can get on here and verify this because she was on the telephone on speaker when all this occurred. Let me get my kids. I can't, they're on the deck. Be right back. Ben, did you go out, buddy? Guys, did your brother go out? Let's see. Okay, there you are, Tootsie. So, Wynn comes home and he has these two boxes of fudge sickles. And I said, Wynn, I told you I cannot eat them. They're too many carbs. And he's saying to me, they're the same amount of carbs. I said, Chucky, they are not. He said, 18 carbs for two of them. I said, Chucky, will you listen to what I'm telling you? I don't eat any more than 15, 20 max carbs a day, and I don't even get near that most days. I limit those carbs. I said, no, no, and no, am I eating that many carbs? That's ridiculous. And I'm certainly not going to blow my carbs. Nine carbs on one poppy that's equivalent to, well, fudge sickle. That's equivalent to two sips of liquid. I don't think so. Well, we get in this argument, and I just finished the last double pack of the popsicle reds um that they had he was on his way to get more of the popsicle brand but 
Hold on. Okay, I thought. Okay. Um, and they didn't have, and that's why he got the fudge sickles. Well, anyway, we get in this argument over the carbs. He's not listening to me. He's thinking he knows what he's saying. And I said, will you listen to me? Never in a million years would I purposely consume 18 carbs, Chucky, unless it was the end of the day. I'm going to bed and I had zero carbs all day. I knew I heard her. Hold on. Gracie, I just sat down. Why didn't you just come in? Come on, stinker bug. Come on. Pokey Annie. Pokey Annie. Next time, come in when mommy's at the door, honey. Beep, I beep your nose. Beep, I beep your nose. Never. Unless, like I said, it was the end of the day and I said, okay, well, I had three carbs today. I'm going to treat myself. I'll have a double fudge sickle. I might do that because I'm still under just at 20 carbs. Okay, I can do that. But to do it in the middle of the day or when I get up, like a lot of times I'll wake up in the morning and the first thing I get with my coffee is poppies. Okay, that's how many poppies and how addictive. So once he gets the box and he shows me that they're not one carb a poppy, now we're back to the popsicle brand, sugar-free poppies, okay? They're not one carb a pop. They're four. Now, if they were one carb a pop, I justified eating the entire box because I was getting the crucial liquid I need to have. And technically, bariatrics are allowed up to 50 carbs a day, I think it is. I don't do that. I don't care how many carbs you're allowed. I do my thing. I don't want to go near 20. 20 is my max. Um, <laughs> I said, oh my God, four per pop. Is that per twin or per pop? That is per pop. So that means your double pack is eight. Okay. I said, uh, Chucky, how many carbs is that? He said 78, I believe, 76 or 78, my mouth hit the ground. No wonder I gained three flipping pounds. I could not understand for the life of me how I gained three pounds. There's your answer. I have not touched a poppy or a fudge sickle since then, and I'm down two pounds of that three. So I have one more pound to get back where I was. And that is living proof, once again, if my success rate is not living proof, that go ahead and say everything in moderation. And I agree, 18 pops isn't moderation, but again, I'm a bariatric. The surgeons recommend us eating as many pops as we want. We can have 20 boxes a day. The justification there is, you know, they're not even looking at the carbs. They want you to have the liquid, but... I'm not justifying no 70 some carbs a day. That's sheer insanity. And the pops I was eating were one carb. So since I've dropped, stopped them and don't touch the fudge sickles, I'm back down in a matter of days. Yesterday I, w I was up and today I'm t down two. Yesterday I was back up to 183. Today I'm 181. Actually I have two more pounds. I gained four. Actually, I actually have two more because I was 179 when all this shenanigans started. So... You know, you can think all you want that you can just slip those carbs in. Figure out how many carbs you eat in a day. And that was sugar-free poppies, which also brings me to you all want to check what you're eating before you consume it. If you're bariatric, low-carb, whatever, just because it's sugar-free, I just learned this lesson the hard way. And I am a stickler with reading labels. So is when we just slipped up because we were thinking sugar-free poppies, sugar-free poppies. It just didn't register until I'm gaining four pounds and going, what the is going on here? I'm not doing anything. How can I be gaining? And then the, the popsicle realization happened and you can ask Shelly. I went a bit ape shit. I was really upset. I was almost in tears. I was that upset. I was flaming upset. You know, I, I watch what I eat and I take care of things. And when I accidentally consume that many carbs and gain four pounds, I was a little miffed. Big time a little miffed. Let me be your lesson. With that said, let's get back to the good stuff and the sewing. So as you are the fabric, the... 
I was just talking to, about pillow covers that I'm making. Pillow, you know my pillow covers I make, and quoting a price. So my mind is like, let's talk about yarn. So as you can see, I redid over here a little bit, okay? And I organized up there. That All that in plastic there is my ice yarn. Some of that there is the new stuff I bought. And look up there, I rearranged everything. Up there is my already um, bag mandala. Yeah, and I have a whole, the, a great big huge tub of uh, nothing but ice yarn. And then I have another tub of nothing but my Cardi yarns. And separate it into, I need this many for that Cardi. And like, this is for my mom's Cardi. Into project bags already made up is what I have. And uh, I have that lady I bought all that off of. She'll get back with me tomorrow. She just said she's going nuts. The poor thing's moving to Florida. And uh, she did say Monday or Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. And she hadn't gotten back with me. So I quick messaged her. And she said, tomorrow. I said, well, that'll work. You know, because that's closer to payday. I guess she's going to send me another, like, two big boxes she has of more ice yarn. So I'm pretty excited. I, uh, this week, yeah, I think wins off Saturday. So... Unless he's going to, he might be going to the families for a car party this Saturday. In that case, he won't be able to help me, but maybe Sunday. I want to get in that sewing room and get everything cleaned up and more stuff pulled for Billy. And then I have my shelving that I could put all my yarn in, in totes and bags. That That's all in one place because... With her sending, you know, selling me all this ice yarn, I'm going to have a lot of yarn that I'm going to need a home for because I'm at maximum capacity. And like over here, I have my cakes, my comfy cottons, my mandalas, my wool, and then my, my little yarns for my dogs and that. And then there's the bunny I sold. She's ready to go. He is ready to go to his new home. I don't know what of that you could see up there. I have the cottons I just bought at Walmart and that uh, bamboo on the bottom. That's what Carrie Penny just sent me. Yeah, so I'm at maximum capacity out here. Oh, and then of course under here I have my cakes as well. And some of my mandalas. And there's my ribbons in that for my bears. There's some cheesecloth and all my packing supplies. There's my Velux. If you see dirt, please ignore it. Again, my vacuum blue. Oh, and over here's a bunch more. Look at this. I'm at maximum capacity. So when, um, when my floor's vacuumed, I'll show you everything. You probably got a glimpse of my dirty floor. I still can't believe my vacuum felt blue on me like couldn't it just let me vacuum up from cleaning my grooming my dogs Ugh. and I did use the broom broom but all it was doing was making a mess it was making dander and dust fly and I said I'm just stopping I can live with dirt I got down on my hands and knees another day or today some what what I could because my back's killing me and I used this this is what their brush is uh, oh man this brush works if you don't have a furminator, you don't know what you're missing. I don't care what kind of fur your dog has. This is amazing. And then you just push the button and the fur comes off. But it also is awesome to get the, like from grooming them. And then you go like this and it gets all of it like out of your carpet. So every now and again when I'm my back can handle it, I get down and do this. But it is what it is. The belts are coming tomorrow. My floor will be vacuumed and I'll show you everything I did in here. All right, enough of that. I'm going to first show you what my dear darling Kathy Goldor sent me. Such a sweet, sweetheart. She messaged me and asked me if I still need Griffin. And of course I do. I need as many as I can get for my cardigan and something else I'm making. I did have the one, which I'm going to put in this bag. And she so kindly sent me four more Griffin. Again, Kathy, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it immensely. So, I now have five of the cakes, and I need at least three or four more. So, then I'll be good. So, I'm grateful for that, Kathy. Thank you so much. Isn't that Griffin to die for? 
Love it. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to put that back here. And then today I received, or yesterday I received, yesterday, I apologize. I received a wonderful package from Linda at Linda's Yarn Barn. I did not open it. It is, that's my P.O. box so I can show it. I did not open it. It is 100% sealed. So I'm going to open it right now. I'm so excited. I had to wait a day till I could get on video. Linda, 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 what did you send me, honey? Gotta be careful opening boxes. Deep in concentration I was there, huh? <gasps> no way! I don't have a single one of these. Oh my God, Linda. Oh my gosh, Linda. I was just thinking I need to go get some of these. Oh my God. Linda, what have you done? I didn't even see this. Oh, guys, look at this. This one is called Mantra. Mandala Ombre. Linda, oh my God, I love you so much. I am so addicted to Mandala. It is absolute disgust how addicted to Mandala I, I am. She sent me one of those. This one is the... How are they both Mantra? Oh, they are. She sent me two... Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on. She sent me two of the Mantra. It didn't look the same. My apologies. Two of the Mantra. Oh, my God. That is stunning gorgeous. <gasps> this one is the... Harmony, that's like the denim -y. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Oh, Linda. Another one of the Harmony. So that's three. You do know that I'm Cardi addicted, and this would be a perfect, like I don't need, I. oh my God, I just am speechless here. Four of the Harmony. Oh my God, no way. And this one is, oh my gosh, called cool it's like black and grays and three of those oops oh it stuck to the box oh my goodness oh my poor mandala <sighs> linda oh my goodness oh my goodness this is like better than christmas and birthday rolled in one i didn't buy any of these yet thank you so 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 much these three are the cool. Oh my gosh. Absolutely stunning. <gasps> oh my God. These men. And then she sent me. Oh, I love it. Wild sweet orange tea. <gasps> Yummy. I love tea. And I love this wild sweet orange. This is actually hubby's. Hubby loves this too. Oh, Linda. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I don't even know what to say besides thank you thank you and thank you oh my goodness gracious mandala oh and then ombre yet i didn't see this one but my mom she wants her cardigan like i made my goosey mom in the in greens and i'm going to show her this if she likes this i'm keeping this for me but i'll get my mom some and maybe i'll make her cardigan out of this one this one's really pretty because I was going to do it in the spearmint or the green apple like Carla sent me. Um, red heart ombre, but this is way nicer. Not that the red heart ombre isn't nice, because it is, but this is to die for. Linda, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. I just, ah, mandala is the best thing on the planet. It is my favorite yarn. It always has been my favorite yarn. I love impeccable as far as like solids and stuff go, but for a yarn for many, many things, I'm in love with ombre, but ombre won't be, or not ombre, sorry, mandala. But mandala, I would never, even though I love making critters, I would never waste mandala on a critter. Oh no. Mandala has to be a blanket. Mandala has to be a cardigan. Mandala has to be a shirt. Oh my God, I love Mandala. 
Thank you, Linda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are amazing. This is the best ever. And thank you again to my dear friend. Sorry, I itchy. My dear friend, Kathy, for this mandala. Oh, my gosh. I am in mandala heaven, you guys. You have no idea. And Shelly, she called yesterday, and she picked me up a bunch of uh, mandala that I didn't get before. That I Well, I do have, but I need it more. She got me centaur and chimera, which are centaur, chimera, griffin, troll, and warlock are my favorites of mandala. Hands down, my favorites. And uh, here's my other griffin. And I was able to get these um, Hercules. So I got five. I don't know why I got five instead of six. What was I thinking? I should have another one of them. I'm going to have to see if my local one has it. Um, I don't know what I was thinking there. That was pretty dumb. Some days the brain don't ignite. So yeah, I got that. And also I got some of them cottons that I showed you up there in the bag. Them are my new cottons. And then they had, I was lucky enough to get some comfy cotton on clearance. Oh, hold on, guys. I was fortunate enough to get some comfy cottons on clearance, and they're all in my basket, so I don't want to pull them out. Um, I've been asking everybody, except for you guys, if you find comfy cotton, can you let me know, and I'll forward you the money and just grab them for me. Um... I know that they had stained glass, the lavender, uh, ever, no, wait, let me go on and look, I'll tell you the colors that I know for sure was clearance that I bought myself, but they only had so many, and I even went to three Walmarts trying to find it. Okay, comfy cotton. I'll look at the colors. All right, Ocean Breeze is clearance for sure. Stained glass, which I only got one, and I really want another one of them. Or not another one. I want as many of them as I can get. Because um, I'd like to make at least a shirt out of that. Lion brand, comfy cotton yarn. Okay. I need to find the colors. There we go. Lion brand. It is the... Stained glass, the sorry, soothing lavender is the other one, clearance, and the ocean breeze. Those are the ones I know for sure are clearanced. Stained glass is the one I really need. I only have two of the ocean breeze, maybe three. I would need at least one or two more of them. But stained glass, I only have one of. You guys, I have Lion Brand, uh, www.lionbrand.com slash comfy dash cotton dash blend dash yarn dot html. So I can see the colorways right under the overview. Check out this review of Comfy Cotton Blend by Crystal of Bago de Crochet. Her Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Yarn Review video is right here on Lion Brand's site. Way to go, Crystal. That is awesome. I did not know that. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Great job, Crystal. She deserves it. She deserves every recognition, every praise, everything she gets. Crystal is a, a wonderful person and does so much for all of us in the yarn community. She's amazing. Crystal, we all love you, lady. Kudos to you, my friend. That's something else. My Walmart just stocked back up whipped cream Friday. I think I'm going to pick up a couple of them because I have about a half a cake. I want to make a uh, bralette in that one. And I got the mochiato. Is it mochiato? Mochaccino? No, wait. Mochaccino I got to make. It's the solid brown to make a bralette with. So, yeah. I They have that poppy in that spectrum, but I don't really want a red or a blue bralette. Maybe. We'll see. 
I would rather go with the neutral, like the brown. Oh, and I'll make a gray one. I'll get the gray, the brown I already have, and part of a white. So I'll pick that up next time I go to Wally. But yeah, if anybody can get a hold of the stained glass especially, the Ocean Breeze and the Soothing Lavender Comfy Cotton, they were three fifty dollars at my Wally. Please, please, please let me know and let me pay you. Please let me pay you. I don't, I don't want anything for nothing. Not that I don't appreciate it. Linda, I do. I love you. Uh, Kathy, I do. I love you. You guys are amazing. Although I didn't even have a chance to pay Linda. I didn't even know what Linda was sending me. That was a complete surprise. But yeah, Kathy, she gave it as a gift and I love you, babe. Thank you so much. What a good friend. Um, but I don't, I don't have any problem paying, believe you me. I mean, we're not hurting for money. Not that I don't want to come off wrong. If I, I'll just shut up. I am more than willing to pay for my yarn. It's what I'm saying. I appreciate any gift you all want to send me. God bless you. It means the world to me, but I also am not asking for anything. I'm saying if you can get your hands on it and you yourself don't want it, please sell it to me. I, I, especially the stained glass, which again, I could only get one of the cool ocean breeze. I could only get two of or three of, I'd have to look. And the soothing lavender, I have a good bit, but that don't mean I won't want more. My mom likes that color. So yeah, that's all I'm saying. Um, if anybody has it and is willing to sell it to me that they're not going to use it or maybe made an impulse buy and goes, oh crap, I really shouldn't have spent this money. I'll take it off your hands. Yeah, I'll replace your money and you can just sell me your yarn. Yeah, that'll work. All right, guys, I am going to cut this guy off. I am, oh, I want to show you one more thing. I broke these. I remember showing you these. These are awesome. This book is all my uh, orders and critters that I'm working on or my normal patterns, okay? And in it, I have uh, what I'm working on, okay? And I have different, let me see. I just have, I, you don't need to see the patterns, not that it matters, but I just have all the patterns that I'm going to be working on and what I'm going to be using. And then if I ran out of stuff like that one, I have uh, attached to the back. And then at night when I'm done, I put it to the page I'm using. And my current project is in the front. And this book is my Cardi book. Cardi Queen. I have one dedicated just to cardigans and bralettes. I'm not pooping you. So there's the cardigan I just made. Oops. I have that. I have this uh, paper clipped. This is a new bralette I got. And then this is also a bralette. Let me show you. Hold on. These are two bralettes. Oops. Come on now. I want to show the bralette, guys. Is there a picture on this? It's arguing with me. Mm -mm. Well, it looks like a regular bra as far as the structure. Anyway, there's a new poncho. I love it except for the fringe. The fringe will not be part of that poncho. There's two tanks I'm going to be making. One is crystals, I'm pretty sure. It's correct. This one's crystals. Um, here's another. These are all things I'm going to be making, but right now I'm not doing any cardies because I'm working on critters and a custom. There's another bralette. Love that one. And there's... This is a duster I'm going to be making. Look at that nice cardigan. I'm actually going to turn that into a top. I'm not going to make a cardi out of that. And then this is a new one here. I just printed yesterday. And then that one. So I have these two books broken down into my cardi book. Cardi Queen. And my Critter slash Current Works. So if you guys can find those things for projects, I highly recommend them. They're amazing. All right. My video bleeped in and out and I, uh,
notice that and I am at 35 minutes on the money so what I'm going to do right now is say au revoir uh one more time I'm going to say the piggy no the flamingo no and that sweet frog is not available that was a gift from my lotta anything else that you see here is available just contact me. Can you see that brown bear? I can't tell if we can see the brown bear. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There it is. That's the brown bear I'm looking for. Right there. So, yeah, just contact me. So, this, this, and that sweet froggy right there. No. Everything else? Yes. Just contact me. I'm going to go for now. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would please take a minute and subscribe. Please click the notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my content and leave a comment. And also, if you would please share me with your friends, family, and social media, I greatly appreciate it. And look for some FOs coming very soon. I'm trudging along on my projects and yeah. Pretty soon, some FOs will be heading your way. Thanks so much for always being here, for always supporting me, my channel, my family. I appreciate it more than you know, and I will talk to you all soon. I'm bidding you adieu, over and out. I'll be back. Thank you.